video it's thunder from cold september same old intro as i usually start anyways as you know i'm back and yeah two videos in a week i guess very rare as you can see i just took a little break but uh going back to the warlog that i think again maybe grimness i'm pretty sure you recorded one hive and or as you know the family scrim it wasn't really a scrim it kind of was like a i guess hunt not actual hunt it was just we spat, spun at the same time and then Ended up matching each other on a random. CS did have an advantage, so Sept OP is still alive. No, no worries. And uh, anyways, one hive, then swarm synergy, clash united, and what's the current war? Let me check that. Another farm war. Okay, we got two farm wars in a row. Anyways, clash united. Let's check this out. I'm pretty sure the breakdown was four elevens, and hmm, what was it like? Sorry, I gotta do the math real quick. Seven town hall tens, yeah, around there, or six or seven. And uh, them having the same, I'm pretty confident. This being a town hall ten, yeah, pretend this was a nine. I think this was nine, sorry. Don't remember, anyways. This was a good word, so random spin against Clash United, Paracock, CO, uh, Power, ah, sorry, Paracock, Sister Clan. And uh, we're just gonna get to the replays as I commentate over other stuff. And this attack just. Blew my mind. Amazing attack by Kian. Kian, I think. I don't know if I'm saying this right. Sorry, man. <laughs> it's been a while. And uh, sorry for sorry for my sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Can't even talk here. It's horrible. Over here, creating the funnel with the wizards while the giants tank perfect as the archer towers were taken down. Pretty sure this one goes down. Yeah, that archer tower is down. Bring the kill squad consisting of a few bowlers, mainly the Valkyries, and a few Giants. Pretty much to push into the base, freezing. Okay, right here, money freeze right here, as you can see, the Inferno Tower, the CC, being the Dragon, and the Inf in and the Archer Queen. Yeah, the enemy AQ, and uh, guess what, there does, there's a freeze trap, gets a few Valkyries, but over here, you would be like, what? He's not getting this. Yeah, here he gets super low. Yeah, doesn't get to Town Hall. Guess what? The Queen is still alive, but you know. Queen AI, right? Right there, as you can see, doesn't want to take the jump spell. The archers even go ahead and do some damage on the Town Hall. So you can see there's like no health left on the Town Hall, but the Queen is like, nah, I don't want to get it. Not a, not a chance. And now, 37% and he has four baby dragons. And guess what? I guess, I'm pretty sure, yeah, Keon is on this account, and then, yeah, he brings some, like, mythical powers, I guess, and just gets his town hall, as you will see shortly. I like how he's ended up making that funnel with the other baby dragons, and now, pause right here. Funnel being one of these trash buildings over here, and this, something over here, I forgot, I think it was a queen, perfect. And a few baby dragons around the, uh, around this, around this compartment and the ring. And then, uh, guess what? Placing that, placing that one baby dragon for the skeleton trap. Right after that, what do you think it's gonna go for? Obviously, the town hall. Nope. Another one. <laughs> baby dragon AI, and guess what? That's fine, because they took out that gold storage. Now, what Keon is gonna do here? Directly target that air defense, pretty sure. What's the cannon, actually? Wow. <laughs> Targets the cannon and takes that out. Oh my god. And now what? 59% and the town hall has like town hall has like zero out. Maybe like two percent right now. And uh one, two, and it dies. The suicide, 60% two-star. Awesome job. <laughs> amazing clutch two-star. That was amazing. Just love watching something something like that. That was our one uh, 10v11 I wanted to show in uh even though I shouldn't be showing dips, I do want to show Shaggy's attack. He's been killing it with Lalos lately, and uh, he's one of the leaders, so I just wanted to... Well, he is the leader, but I wanted to give him a shout-out, show one of his attacks. I don't think he's been in any recaps recently. Nothing against him, obviously, just saying. He recently started worrying a lot, and uh, yeah, he's been killing it. So we'll watch this attack by Shaggy. <clears throat> Shaggy. Placing that rage spell for the kill squad as the CC comes out. Poison, normal stuff right here. Gets two, gets two air defenses and the queen with the kill squad, which is pretty much needed when you're doing this type of attack. Back end Lalo with the kill squad being a go Laloon. 
pretty sure. I don't think he has brought any bowlers because Shaggy is old school. He likes doing old school attacks. Right here pops the warden ability, keeps the king alive. So the king and queen get the town, uh, not town hall, the air defense. Yeah, about now should be starting the Lalo portion as the sweepers are no fear to his Lalo as they're facing this way and this way. This one can cause trouble, but what he's going to do is actually avoid it by starting his Lalo from 9 o'clock. There it goes, speeding up the loons by haste spells. Haste, hastes. I don't even know how you, how you would say that. It's uh, New Year's and I can't even fix myself, I guess, so it's a bad start. Uh, anyways, so last Lava Hound, pretty sure it's the last, yeah, it's the last Lava Hound. The balloons, the hasted balloons are taking out, taking out the Inferno, not Inferno, sorry, oh my god, the, the Wizard Tower now going into the Inferno. There's too many things going on at once, can't even keep up. Uh, right here, haste, does it take out the sweeper? Oh, it does, by popping, okay. Still has one balloon in the bag for the back end, perfect use of it as it targets the Archer Tower. Pops a, a Lava Hound by that final expo, perfect, good timing there and I will speed up the cleanup portion. Nice attack, Shaggy was uh, pretty good. So we have uh, Town Hall 10 v 10 being by Young Active, both of them, so props to him for that, for that 6 pack at Town Hall 10 v 10 level. Get to that right now, number 11. He did want me to say shout out to Alpha for this plan. He's been he's been helping helping him with it. They planned it together and uh, yeah, he got the triple over here. So it's actually a stoned hobo attack. I'm pretty sure he has bowlers in the CC. If not, we'll, we will see. It's not like I can view it like you would do in a live attack, the CC, but it wouldn't matter much anyways. Creating that huge, huge funnel. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty confident there's gonna be boulders in the CC. Creating that huge funnel. And now, uh, poison. Still, yeah, right there. Just dropped his uh, CC boulder, so I was right. For once, I was right. Yep. Oh, uh, well, yeah. But about being right, you'll see that uh, I got a six pack. I'm uh, toxic. Doing like, this was pretty. Sh I'm pretty sure I did those two attacks that like. Five in the morning or something like that. I don't know why I was awake, anyways, but that's what ended up happening. You guys were on Discord and uh, yeah, six pack. That's <laughs> pretty new. I don't usually six pack and uh, yeah, pretty proud of it. Over here, swag heal spell. Awesome job to young. Awesome job to young active, killing it with the thugs. There goes the final few buildings for the trash. We'll get out of this. For the 10v10, nice one to Young Active. We'll show his second attack too, and uh, yeah, right there. You see that six pack? <laughs> okay, since we're looking at six packs, we'll look at Trick It. Uh, amazing attack coming up on number 14 that I'll be showing soon. And uh, who else? Matt To got one six pack, and Young Active obviously the 10v10 six pack. And uh, we had three out of eight dips that worked. As the two of them are like 98, 99 percent, so pretty unfortunate, but it's fine. It happens. So got the war with war one, so we're fine. And uh, this attack being a Lalo back end Lalo with the huge kill squad, pretty sure. Uh, young active's gonna come here and uh, show us how to do this. Five baby dragons. That's that's interesting. I, don't expect, I didn't expect that. This space is very interesting. It has three t three uh, air defenses beside the queen. Pretty nice, I guess. And that's why he has a big kill squad, obviously, to push into more of the base to get more than more of the uh, air defenses. Oh wow! Ends up getting all four air defenses by the kill squad. Yeah, that was a big kill squad. Did a lot of work. Nice job there. Jump for the queen. Starting the Lalo. I guess it's it is a Lalo because of the lava hound, but not much because there's no air defenses. And uh, right here, perfect heal spell as there's no. Uh, uh, Inferno towers in range of that Tesla farm and getting those uh, lava puffs as you, know, you wouldn't expect that by having no air defenses up and uh, as, you can, as you can see a young app ah, sorry young active come in here and tripling this base It's a nice one a nice town hall 10 v 10 six pack keep it up I've got got to our final trash building be the dark being the dark 
little extra storage. There's a three star, nice attack, huge kill squad, love it. Get to our attack that I was talking about, trick it, bringing the heavy hopper. One of the his signature attacks. Other one being uh, the avalanche attack, where you would clockwise or counterclockwise have a go we attack, golem wizards only. And this is a similar attack where he's actually, I'll just pause it here for a second. In a heavy hopper, what you're doing is starting two different kill squads at two different entry points. As you can see, one being over here, one being over here. He's going to be able to jump them and create. What you got to make sure also to do is create two funnels because you're starting at two entry points. In the last golem right here. And a jump spell for the first entry. One of the sides having the bowlers, the other side having the queen and the king, I think. I'm pretty... I could be wrong there. We'll see. I know the bowler side is actually with the king. That's pretty smart because you want the king to tank as well. As you can see, so the golems are already in the base. So two, as I was saying, two entry points and they end up meeting each other. And he has 10 back end hogs. Being amazing because if you have two entry points and now you're just rushing to the queen, you're just gonna, look at this. Any any side defenses that are gonna pick off his golems, he's able to place hogs. That's a good use of uh, his hogs right there. The CC does come out and cause some trouble, but obviously having this Archer Queen on this side, oh, I think that was also smart, by the way. Having the Queen be, being deployed on the CC side, which was perfect. CC Witch right there, about to die soon by the Barbarians. Yep, they did. Nice one. As uh, I think some of the Hogs just died up there by the two Teslas, but no worries as the Kill Squad is still going in heavy, heavy, heavy Kill Squad. That's why it's called the Heavy Hopper with the jump spells and just a, ba a few back end uh, hogs as you can see only 10 but he did a ton of work with those hogs clearing some uh, not building some defenses that were shooting his golems which helped a lot a at the end as you can see he does go all the way until like golem mites for the fourth golem but obviously you would expect that because these four golems were tanking the whole base all the way which is a huge portion of the base Pretty much being like 90%, I think 10% was taken out by the hogs or something like that. Something really crazy. So has a queen, and yeah, there goes the there goes the wizard tower for the three star. Nice one punch hit. Love seeing these uh, heavy hopper attacks. Just blows my mind when you do it. It's just amazing. Next one, we'll look at Scott's attack. Oh wait, is this? Might have clicked something. No, nope, this is the wrong attack. Sorry. There was Scott's attack. Can't remember. Oh, sorry. This is <laughs> this is a mess. We'll just keep going on. Just show Matt's attack as we already clicked it. I want to just go ahead and burn the base and not even show the attack. And uh, starting here with the queen, I have actually not watched this attack, so I'm gonna go ahead and commentate whatever I see on on screen. Bring the funnel for the queen walk. I expect him to take out two air defenses, I believe. Yeah, this is a queen charge Lalo. Should be a great attack. With the wall breakers for the entry, creating that, uh, what would you call that? Yeah, you would create, not create anything, sorry. You would break into the wall so the queen can actually do some work. There goes the first air defense by the Earth queen. Expo is down, huge value so far, placing the rage where needed as the queen is going low on health. Oh wow, wow. <laughs> nice one. I think there's a hole in the base. The king just takes out the archer queen right there. And now uh, starting the Lalo portion, up at 12. Hasted balloons take out the uh, air defense, and now uh, just keeps going with the haste, and now just killing it. These balloons are moving super fast. Rage spell, and still has two unpopped lava hounds. Great. <laughs> oh wow, this one was about to pop, but when it did pop, the red bomb took out the lava puffs. But no worries, obviously. Still has a queen at full health. Just overkill. It's a nice one to Matt T.O. Oh, nice attack. Throw one more attack to re uh, end up and the recap. So, next attack. Being on 24. That was, that was just a weird attack. 25 being the 8.5 that I tripled somehow. I know it's pretty hard to triple an uh, 8.5 as uh, as uh, if you ask anyone in cold September they can tell you about uh, me hitting 8.5s yeah it's pretty hard 
Yeah, you didn't really have to ask him. I just, I just said the answer. But uh, anyways, starting the funnel for the golems on this attack by Fant Jr. on his Town Hall 9. Now, uh, entry, eh, sorry, not entry, he's entering from 3 o'clock, 2.30. Starting three baby dragons of the clan castle, that, that's very interesting. Now place that jump over here. Rages the kill squad as they're going in the base. And now uh, just has a few hogs to take out the rest of the base as the kill squad moving very deep in the base. Hogs wherever needed. And uh, over here starting with the hogs. Sorry about that, I was getting a lot of notifications, didn't even know what I was talking about. But uh, anyways, uh, Queen takes the jump, takes out a few defenses. Freeze Trap gets some of the hogs, not some, sorry, one of the hogs. But uh, Queen is doing a ton of work right there. Queen gets another Archer Tower. And, uh, this Archer Tower is super low on health, has like three hogs left over for this Troll Tesla. Uh, sorry about that, I had an uh, interruption. And uh, that was pretty much it for the recap, last attack. And that was a war for Cold September versus Clash United, 69 to 66. But I did want to point out something. So on number one, 69%, uh, number two, 69%, 69 stars. So amazing. Nice one, Cold September. So, Thunder out. See you guys in the next video.